we got invited by um, Artie and Bianca to be part of this um, project, Semillas de la Paz, which is about reconditioning our thoughts about Juarez, you know? Juarez, everybody thinks the cartels, the death, which is very true, the femicide. This is something that we're taking into consideration for our concept. All these um, elements and styles and forms and colors that are going to be used will create a shift in what you think. One, two, three. Hold on, hold on. Get it any straighter up and my fall backwards though. I think that's cool. So for our concept, we're going to do a woman that is very spiritual, that is very uplifting. And when you think of a woman, something that, um, I forget what makeup company just did. They're profiting off the death of the women in Juarez. You know, not just, it was a, a runway show, it was a cosmetics company that you are using the death as a look, as a trend, as an aesthetic. Well, we want to take that back. You know, we want to take a lot of this, like profiting off a of death, and we want to show the life. You know, we want to show that Juarez is full of life. Yeah, there might be death. You know, of course there is, there's death everywhere, you know. But that doesn't mean there are not families enjoying a beautiful Sunday afternoon. There's not women that are filled with joy to, to just be alive, you know? So that's something we're doing. As a movement, I feel that a lot of young kids are more and more involved every day in more activist, progressive roles in their community, in their society. I think that kids are not being so conform. They're not just taking it, you know, they're, they're making their own videos. They have their own cameras. They have their own technology available to them. We cannot hide with the technology that we have. They're going to see this through the internet. They're going to see this through, through um, blogs and they're going to want to be part of it. You they're, they're not going to stand back and say, oh, well, whatever, what is? No, they're going to be like, well, there's someone already doing something about it. I want to do something about it, too. Or I want to express myself about it. I mean, that's all it really takes to put some positive intention to anything you do. It creates magic. And that's what I think artists are nowadays. We might not change something drastically like that. But you know what? We are like the antenna of the consciousness of humanity. So when we make something, that is already something that's been brewing in the consciousness of the world. So we're nothing but just reflectors of that. I came out here to, to paint, to support the idea of healing. So when we think of Ciudad Juarez and we think of everything that's going on, and a lot of times, you know, we feel that helplessness and, you know, where really can we do? So art is always a powerful form of healing and reaching out to others and and connecting with others, so through through us, you know, being creative and, 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 and doing this uh, painting. It's a beautiful collaboration. Now we've kind of started uh, that energy and that positive intention for, for Ciudad Juarez to heal and to move on. When they see this painting, they, you know, it's a, it's a reminder for the people that don't go to Juarez, and then the people that are connected to Juarez, then, then it's like, yeah, there, there are people that also want to, to move forward. I'm doing this because I was getting fed up with seeing nothing but negative situations, negative headlines, negative news about our sister city. Um, I felt that the constant, constant, you know, backlash of, of violence, of bloodbaths, was just going to maintain that consensus that Juarez is a bad place to be, that Juarez is the murder capital of the world. If people continue to see that over and over and over on television, on news and newspaper, of course it's going to maintain that consensus because that's the only mentality that people have of it. What I want to do, what I want to see is experiment by, by attacking that hate, attacking that violence with kindness, with love, with peace, with passion, and with something that people love, art. Art coming from the heart, art coming from passion, art coming from love is is a, a valuable weapon against war. And I felt that if we focus on something and we bring a group together to have that kind of um, impact and to at least start the domino effect into a, a healing process for Juarez, then we could do it. Um, and we've been blessed to come across the most amazing people, the most compelling people. I've met some of the most amazing people doing this. And I feel that this is a very strong movement about to start. It's, it's, the first, it's one of the first steps in, in fixing what's going on in what is reversing what's going on in what is Not with guns, not with violence, not with hate, not with more laws, with love, with peace, 
with art, with what comes from the heart, with passion. Peace is the master in this world's puzzle. And I really believe that the only way we can really kill the illness in Juarez is with kindness.